sitting here with super middleweight star, it's Christian Laporte. How are you feeling, firstly? I'm feeling well, you know. Um, I can't complain. Everything is going good. Let's go back to your first fight. You knocked the guy out in the first round. It looked like a little bit of easy work for you. Um, that's something that you like to knock people out, am I right? Um, uh, no, it's not about knocking out, really. Um, with my first fight, I wasn't so happy with it, you know. I'd, uh, I'd actually, out of 10, I'd give myself a four for that fight. Simply because I, I came in there to, to box the guy, but then he was all messy and he tried to, to give me a KO. So I told myself, let me just finish this kid down. And, uh, and that's why I... I caught him with that left hook and the fight just stopped. Well, let's face it. I mean, even though you say you're not there to knock the guy out, you yeah. do possess incredible power. Yeah. I mean, would you agree with me on that one? Yeah, I do. And uh, listen, I come here with bad intentions. Every time I fight, I just step in with bad intentions. My idea is just to hurt you and just to break you down and uh, just take you down. Yeah, but then my... It's not really about giving the guy a KO. I just want to box him and I just want to show my skills a bit. Yeah, but then if you if you try knocking me out, then I'm gonna I'm gonna just finish you off, definitely. Well, looking at your new opponent now, he's on debut, if I'm not mistaken, Moyo. Moyo, yeah. So he's on debut, so I mean, like you don't really know what you're gonna get with this yeah. customer. Um, how are you gonna approach this fight night? You know, um, with me, I never I, 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 I underestimate my opponent. I train out for every fight I get. Um, yeah, but then they say his brother is um, Tutusi Moyo. I was scheduled to fight Tutusi Moyo on March, uh, but then uh, no, the virus kicked in. Yeah, so with this fight, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm training hard, you know, um, I'm getting sparring and uh, I'm focused actually. I'm just, yeah, I, I just can't wait for this fight actually. You know, it's been a while since I stepped in the ring. My last fight was last year, December. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while and I just can't wait for this. I don't want to preempt things, but if you beat Moyo, are you going to then call out his brother? I fight anyone. His brother must come. To do this, must come. I'm going to beat his small brother. I don't know if he's a small brother or the big brother. It doesn't matter. I'm going to knock him out. Then his brother must come as well. I fight anyone. Put me in with someone with 20 fights. I just love fighting, you know? It's, it's full time thingy. I just love fighting. So I fight anyone. Put me in with anyone. I'm good to go. Well, that's another thing like what are people going to expect of you because obviously i mean there is a little bit of a hype coming i feel it i mean yeah. even before interviewing you i know you're going to become something um what what type of box are you um <laughs> i don't know um i'm just as i said my intentions is just beyond you know i, I just want to murder you i just want to hurt you and um, i just want to eat you you know so <laughs> i can't say i'm a brutal fighter with my first fight, people thought I was brutal, but now nah, it's just the person I was fighting. You know, once you get someone who really can't box and um, your, your skills a bit go down, you know, because it's all messy and you can't really find him, you know. So I'm not a brutal fighter. I just have, I just possess too much power in me. And it's not about the power. With me, it's just, yeah, it's just to hurt. Yeah. What was your um, amateur career like? Uh, what did you do there? Um, so I, I had 10 fights as an amateur, eight wins and two losses. Um, I struggled to get fights as an amateur and that's why I just turned pro. There was nothing for me as an amateur. I'm, 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 I'm from the Congo. I was un un unable to go compete in the championships and that's why I just turned pro. I believe pro is a whole different story. Amateurs, you hit them once and they cry and then with the pros, it's a whole different story, yeah? yeah. And that's why I decided to turn pro. How did you arrive in South Africa? Obviously, you say you're from the Congo. There are a lot of Congolese fighters in South Africa, but what's your journey like? Um, so I came into... 2006 I came here with all my family and you know as a young boy I was just into fighting I did straight fighting I did Shotokan yeah and my I never thought one day I'd become a professional boxer but yeah I'm here now you know because I just love fighting fighting is in my blood you know I've been in the streets I'm you know I'm not scared of a punch that's me yeah I just love fighting so Okay, I, I, I'm going to ask you this because I always ask people right in the beginning of their career, what's your ambition with boxing? And a lot of, a lot of people will say world champion, obviously, yeah. let's skip that step. What, do, what is your actual dream? Like, where do you want to be one day? Like, you know, have you visualized these sort of things? I'll be honest with you. My dream is to just travel all, all around the world and fight the, 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 the biggest name in boxing. With me, I love, you know, fighting only the top guys, you know. Put me in, as I said, put me in with a guy with 20 fights. I can fight him, you know, I just... I just want to fight the top guys, you know. So my dream is to just, of course, be, be a champion of the world. And, uh, yeah, you know, and then one day just to leave and, and tell my story. And, uh, yeah, and um, so that small kids can also 
um, 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 look up to me. Yeah. Do you have someone that you look up to? Um, uh, I look up to as in a professional boxer. Or? Yeah, like like maybe a legend or something like that. Yeah, with me it's been Tyson. My my hero was Tyson, simply because of his mindset and just the type of fighter he is, you know. And with me, I have the type of mindset of Mike Tyson, you know. He's he's, he's always been my hero. Yeah. But you also like, I mean, it's not just you that boxes in the family, it's your brother as well. Tell us a little bit more about him. Obviously, we haven't had time to catch up with him yet because yeah. he hasn't had a first fight. But what is he like? Yo, Joel, I'm telling you, I'm just going to warn the because we're going to fight in the, in, the, in the same weight division, 76. And Joel is just another whole different story. Joel is just, it's just too much. He's too strong. And um, from next year onwards, you're going to see my brother is going to jump in the professional rankings. He was scheduled to fight on... Uh, August, but then uh, the fight never happened due to the virus. But next year, definitely, Joel is just one tough guy. Yeah. So you guys are in the same weight division? Oh, yeah, we're going to fight in the same weight division. If I'm not mistaken, your brother's a little bit taller than you. He is. Yeah. Um, how does he make that weight? Joel struggles to make weight, actually. And, um, <laughs> yeah, he, um, you, 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 you wanted to fight at that, um, uh, at light weight. But then, you know, I just spoke to him and I feel like he should drop down 76 is good for 76 the height is good and um, his, his Richard Panther is good so I think 76 is perfect for him 76 is a perfect weight for him alright and let's go back to Moira real quickly what would be your message to him if you look at the camera uh, before you guys step in the ring yeah. on fight night you know Moyo, um listen I'm just I, I just hope you come and you're gonna you're gonna give me a good fight please don't be like my first fight I'm sure you watched my first fight I mean it's what normally boxers do they go around checking the guy out with my first fight the guy just couldn't box so please give me a good fight and let's just give the fans what they came to watch you know so i'm hoping you're going to give me a good fight mr moyo right, fantastic and yeah. then lastly do you want to send a thank you or a shout out to anybody um thank you so much to my sponsors ngl africa um you know especially in this time of the virus you know they've been helping me out financially and i just i pray god may bless them and then uh thank you to my coaches being there for me um, he's been keeping me fit, uh, giving me sparring, and uh, and then I want to say thank you to my my parents as well, you know, um, yeah, and yeah, <laughs> that's it, that's it.